fair Duncan, yeah, yeah. It's quite good. Mm. She looks alright, yeah. Right, is that any different? That sounds better. Yeah, nice one. Yeah. Good. Right. Where are Can you? Can I talk- play a bit of audio now? Yeah, okay. Go for it. Right, well, I'm tuned in. Let's see if it'll work. Hang on. Can you hear that? Needs to be a bit louder. Need to turn it up, mate, and put your phone near the speaker. Can you hear me, Colin? Yeah, just about. Can you hear the music? Yeah, how are you playing it in? It's just coming out of my speakers. Yeah, it's not quite up to it. I think... Sounding bad, yeah. A, a better way right, to... let me stop. Better way, on, uh, well, a better way to play audio in is definitely using the phone, the landline, which is 01243 556060. Right, I've set that up for the last hour and uh, Yeah, but uh, there yeah. might be a way of sending audio in using Skype by by, by using it, doing it somehow te- technologically. I mean, if you were able to load it onto your PC as a, an audio file... I think well, you'd have to use Fault Bucket or something like that. Well, oh. it, depends, it depends on your sound card as well because the audio will need to be routed directly to Skype instead of to your speakers and coming out. Mm. I mean, you can always, if it's an MP3, you mm. can you always email it to us at studio at playradiouk.com yeah. and we can get it up and play it for you now. Mate, right, I'll try that then, no one. Right, cheers. Um, right. <coughs> Go on, Ed, did you read me? Have you read me email? Oh, well, I've been off there uh, because I've turned the um, no, webcast off, you know, so I can speak. No, no, we're uh, we're lagging behind a bit on the email, so yeah, uh, we yeah, are. yeah. We'll, we'll get to it though. No, uh, it was on the drug related thing, but it doesn't matter anyway. You well, can what, catch what, up on it, can't you? What did you want to say about the drug related thing? I just wanted to know uh, what your experiences with E were, or if you had any experiences with E. No, I've with never X, uh, no. Oh, have you? Have you? <laughs> yeah, slightly. Uh, <laughs> slightly. Best struggle I've ever had. <laughs> struggle I've ever had. And, um, I don't want to advertise more. No, no. Not many no. people, but it's uh, something I think everyone should have tried at one point in their life. Uh, yeah. No, maybe ten years ago, but not now. They're too dangerous now. Yeah, no, I wouldn't them. buy them now. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have them for given to me now, you know what I mean? It's, uh, but when they was property, you know, uh, the eight, late 80s sort of thing, when they came in, mm. It was um, the old Hacienda movement. It, it was the love drug. It was, you know what I mean. It turned football thugs into fucking beefsteaks. So you know what I mean. It had to be pretty good stuff, didn't it? Really, when you think about it. Mm. You, don't, you don't get much MDMA in them nowadays, though, do you? So. No, it's more uh, a <laughs> bit of acid, bit of acid, and a bit of whiz it. together. Isn't well, it? you got. <laughs> Gotta be careful. You don't get heroin in them these days. And the thing is, MDMA is sold more widely as its own its own entity anyway. So there's not so much need. I've never understood. I've never understood that. You know, from a dealer's point of view, you know, selling stuff that is harmful. You know, all right, sell them a fucking aspirin, but you know yeah. what I mean. So sells, put something in it that is. Do you know it's like it's, 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 it's almost you know exactly I mean? it's, it's almost exactly the same sort of thing as uh, as like when uh, they used to accuse musicians of putting uh, like uh, suicide messages into records playing backwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah why, it, why would a band? Why, it, what, it's counterproductive. Why would a band want to kill their audience? I mean, surely that's kind of like, counterproductive, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, I'll that's, go along with that. Probably, but, uh, probably written by American <laughs> fundamentalist Christians that said that because they didn't Christ. like the music. Yeah. Cheers, right. Colin. Got to go. Thank you for your Skype call. Thank you. Good effort. I said this before, but if Marion Jones has to give back her gold medals because she won them under drugs, mm. then why don't the Beatles have to give back all their platinum albums? Because well, they did it, them under yeah. drugs as yeah. well, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. And there's no dispute in that, yeah. that Sergeant Peppers was written yeah. entirely yeah. Mm. on drugs. Paul McCartney would have to give and back we his go, sir. we go, wow. Yeah. And no, yeah. yeah. But if you're a, an average band and you were trying to break through and you weren't using hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic jug, drugs, I nearly said hallucinogenic drugs then, <laughs> you know, like Herman's Hermit, right? <laughs> they were trying to compete with the Beatles. <laughs> Only they were obviously clean. Yeah. Because their music was boring. Yeah. Freddie and the Dreamers. Freddie and the Dreamers. Yeah, you're right. Freddie and the Dreamers should, I think they're all dead, but they should be hammering on Sir Paul McCartney's mansion going, yeah. give us some of the money that you got by using mind-bending drugs. <laughs> it's a ridiculous point of view. Good evening. You're on the Human Zoo on Play Radio. You love Timmy Mallet. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Good. I've got Timmy Mallet's autograph. That's a bit random, isn't it? What happened? 
Listen, Matt, you're going to learn very quickly, right? These tenuous celebrity connections, I learn fairly quickly. Just don't open your mouth if you've got one like that. I, I don't mind. People take, people take the mickey. I've still got it somewhere. My dad was on this morning years ago with Richard and Judy and saw Timmy Mallet in the same building and got me his autograph. I was only young. At the time, Timmy Mallet was doing whack a day in the S&O game with uh, Mallet's Mallet and all that. It was quite Mallet's cool. Mallet, yeah. Got another Skype call. We'll take it. Thank you for Skyping, Pyrade. Well, you did have, but Andrew's now cut himself no, off. OK, so. no there worries. Let's get a few yeah. emails then, because they're coming in and we ought to... Hold uh, on, hold, but stay, keep phoning if you're calling the zoo, which is 01243 <coughs> 55 60 60. Sorry, Stuart. Mark says, uh, read your discussion about old people. I always remember my, the, advice, my dear old, the advice of my dear old nan once... Uh, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. I, I always remember the advice my dear old nan once gave me when I was six years old and afraid of the dark. She said, not every man can go to sleep with a light on, but even fewer can go to sleep with a hard on. I think it proves that not all of them are bastards. And apparently uh, Zara in the uh, on the wireless chat room, uh, somebody said she's got a big vagina, she retorted with mine's as tight as a 16-year-old nunnery girl. How does she know? Just just to like, let would you know. she like my phone just, number? Just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been very sweet because you've been getting up pictures of Zara and, well, and making really, really nice comments. We, Not we, sort of like four comments, but no. you've actually been muttering things like, oh, isn't she nice? And, uh, and Duncan's nice. description was very close on as well. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, the number is 01243556060. We've had some uh, excellent contributions from Americans this evening, uh, but some far better contributions from people who aren't American, so keep it up. Hello, Human Zua. And now I have a sports score update. The Cleveland Browns 10, the New England Patriots... Oh, it's not that's not it, sport! It? Hey, that's not sport! That isn't oh. sport. Those <laughs> stupid games that you guys play, that isn't sport. The one where you wear crash helmets and the ones where you have to have armour plating on your shoulders, that's not a sport. And rounders isn't a sport. Rounders. And Norse netball, those are the only games you play. Isn't America, <laughs> you play American, baseball American and football, you play girly, girly non contact <laughs> rugby wearing crash helmets, you play <laughs> rounders and netball. You are girly whirly woos. Every <laughs> single last one of you, apart from all your baseball players, who are girly whirly woos on drugs. Big time. <laughs> Big drugs. Baseball, my balls, hey, balls. <laughs> actually, you know, actually, I quite like basketball and American football. I never got baseball, oh. but American football's not not. <laughs> I don't like. It. <laughs> oh, believe me, I prefer football, soccer. You they, know. they 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 have about fifteen seconds of action, and then they have a committee meeting. <laughs> they do, don't they? <laughs> it is very like. That, it yeah. goes zip, boom, boom, biff, and then they all stand around with their hands on their hips in together, and and it's pathetic. Yeah, you don't get any flow. <laughs> Uh, we take another human zoo call, <laughs> and then uh, it's going. It's going okay tonight. It's picking up now. It's picking up. Slack start, but it's picking up. Hello, you're on the zoo. You ain't talking to me, are you? Hey. <laughs> I, I th we, yeah. I tell you what. It would have been wiser if you had both gone home at the end of your army service. Under <laughs> what? A porter's uniform outside a restaurant, and tanner tips from Belgian civilians for closing cab doors on them and their blousy women. Not for us, thank you. Not after watching Afghans come hauling down out of the hills and taking battlefield command when all the officers have copped it. Well said, Robert Rabbit. There may be no criminal charges against you, but I'll see these files reach Calcutta with a recommendation that you be deported as political undesirables. <coughs> Detriments to the dignity of the Empire and it is at a barrage. Detriments, you call this? Detriments? Well, I want to remind you it was detriments like us that built this bloody empire and he is at the bloody Raj. That's all. About to! Finally! Quick pass! There! What's this from? Chris? That's what our granddad would have said. He was an old bloke, you know. <laughs> he was an old bugger, wasn't he? Oh, he wow. was. Yeah. He was, uh, oh, fucking hell, how old was our granddad? I thought you were talking about old people anyway. Well, we were talking about old people a bit, yeah, because they, they don't half go on and on and on and they're miserable buggers, half of them. Because you, you're an old, you're an old fella, though, you know. What did you I say? I haven't got you up on the webcam, you know, Sam. Yeah. I haven't. My mates just made a nice uh, waistcoat, a waistcoat, they call it. They sometimes Ever so do. good. Yeah. And uh, 